Still no Avril. Nah, it's been days. No message, just diddly squat. I've just had an email from Avril. Apparently she's on her way to Fiji with some rich boyfriend. Spoken to Avril's family? We know as much as they do. They want to speak to you anyway. But on Monday before Avril left work, she told me that she had a date that evening with Dominic. But I'll ask you one more time. What the hell have you done to my sister? Very fancy cake. Painting a pig out. Oh, it's not all for me. Yeah, that's what they all say. What's the occasion? Uh, welcome home dinner for my flatmate. All right, it's about time that get about came back to work. On the tab, thanks. Well, so she works here, does she, your flatmate? Yes, she's a nurse. How you two met, eh? Playing doctors and nurses? No, 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 we're just friends. Well, I heard that one before, too. Well, in our case, it is true. No one. Maybe she's had time to reconsider being away. Absence makes the heart grow fonder and all that. I hardly think so. Uh, friends suits me just fine. <laughs> Are you calling her a liar? Look, if you don't get your hands off me, calm down. OK, OK. I'm listening. Go for it. Yes. Avril did ask me out for a drink, but I turned it down. I'm in a relationship. What? So Avril's supposed to be with this fat cat. Who she's supposed to be going to Fiji with. What the hell's she doing asking you out on a date for? It wasn't like a big deal. What, so Avril didn't fancy you? Just trying to grease up to the boss, eh? Yeah, yeah, it might have been a bit of that. Yeah, how far do you reckon she'd go? It's beside the point. Because I said no and now she's taken off. So why ask you out if that's what she's going to do? Well, it must have been a spur of the moment. What, thing. ditching a job she was stoked about to go sailing with some old rich sleaze? That's not Avril. <laughs> There's her email. What, my sister's a slag? I don't believe it. Look, Neville, I'm really sorry. I, I can't... Like hell you are! You should have been straight with me. I told you all that I know. Somebody else had to tell me about you two going out. It didn't happen. It isn't relevant. Have you got that? That nurse thought it was relevant. Let's see what the police think, eh? I'll tell you what they'll think. They won't be interested because she's not missing. Is there a problem here? No. You haven't heard the last of this. Get your hands off me or I'll be the one calling the police. I'm going to find my sister. Yeah, you do that. <sighs> What's that about? Just a misunderstanding. He's obviously not very bright. Does he think something's happened to Avril? No. It's just a bit put out that she's not the same that he thought she was. Is that yours? Maybe you should clean it up. Well, it doesn't stack up with me. Avril's a talker. She wouldn't have been quiet about leaving. That's the only way with a sugar daddy. Hardly something to brag about. Well, one thing she did tell me was that her and Dom were supposed to be meeting the night before she disappeared. God, dear. So, we know what he's capable of. If he killed Jeff... No way. Can I try and help you? We're trying to make out Dom to be a serial killer. Or where's his motive for bumping off Avril? Tell me that. Well, I don't know. People like him don't need one. And according to Joseph, I don't need help. I didn't believe him. Of course. They're bound to throw Rex's evidence out and then you'll be in the clear. Hey, I heard Dom. There's something about Dom that I just... Hannah. Is this going to take much longer? Well, no, I need to talk you all through it. Well, I think I can read a schedule. Well, it's more than a schedule. More like a military campaign. What's this uh, 1,400 hours business? That's 2 p.m. on the 24-hour clock, OK? Just so there's no confusion over what time the christening starts. Well, no-one's going to think it starts at 2 in the morning, are they? Well, there's no harm in dotting the eyes. As far as telling us what we should wear? Well, I just don't want you to clash with, with me or with Nick or Tina. I don't think Tina's going to mind. It's just much simpler this way, OK? So could you please just read it and then you can ask me any questions? Yes? Uh, can I go now? Oh, of course. I know you'll read your schedule. I, I think you're doing a great job. And, and it's a real honour. Are we done now then, are we? No, Sticky's got to go and cook dinner. Well, so do I if it comes down to it. Look, I just want to talk about what you can wear on the day. Don't expect to be out of here until 2,200 hours. Wave. Look, not just yet, OK? I'm nearly done. 
Um, I realise we probably should have talked about this earlier because you've probably gone and bought something already. No, Barb tried to talk me into something, but I didn't like the prize. Alpha me needed in the bar. Nick! You're the one that forced me to give him a job, but then you go and drag him up here. For a very important meeting. Well, can you make me part of the agenda, please? I need to talk to you. In that case, I'll be on my way. Uh, get home and learn this all off by heart. No! no I... <laughs> Don't worry about it, cuz. We won't let you down. Good luck, mate. No, just... What? That was so rude. I'm worried that Judy is going to wear something dowdy and I was trying to give her a nudge in the right direction. But come on then, what's so important? delayed overseas so he wants me to stay on the house for a bit longer. Who am I to argue? <laughs> if you could see it you'd understand. Anyway, uh, Harry says hi. Um, enjoy the peace and quiet and I'll see you when I get back. Bye.